Welcome back to Studio 33 Art by Kay. I'm Kay and today we're going to be doing a, um, a swipe with a difference for me. Um, I haven't done one of these ones before where you lay the paint down and then you put the um, cell activator on the back of a tool and then swipe it over. So I'm going to have a go. I uh, don't know what's going to happen, but we'll have some fun doing it. Um, and hopefully we'll all learn something today together. Um, I'm going to be um, using as the base, which I've already laid down, the Araldo Silver Cloud, which is an opaque paint, um, which makes a lovely base. And when it dries, it dries with this beautiful glossy shimmer. Um, so it's very nice as a base. And I'm going to be using up some of my Montmartre Dimensions paints again. I've had for a little while, so I want to use those up. They're a very thick paint that comes in a tube, like so. And it's a very high viscosity paint, has a gloss finish when it dries, so it's quite lovely and glossy. Um, and very strong colour intensity as well. Um, so, and it's very highly pigmented. Um, great paints. And uh, as I said, I've had them for a while and I just get distracted onto other things. So um, I brought them back again. And I'm going to be using the Global Black paint mixed with Australian Flow Troll as the um, cell activator. And I mix it to a consistency about one to four, one part paint to four parts Flow Troll, to where when I let it drizzle off the stick, it bounces back onto the stick after about four seconds. Very hard for me to show that to you though. Okay, so um, off we go. I'm going to just tell you what the colors are as we go. And I will also put them in the description. I'm using a 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter tile, um, which I'm going to turn into a trivet as a gift. And um, I'm going to cover that in the stone coat resin, which has a temperature resistance up to at least 200 degrees centigrade, which I think is around 400 Fahrenheit um, ballpark figure. But don't hold me to that. I haven't got a uh, calculator or anything in front of me telling me that, but I think it's around about that. Okay, so I've already laid down the base, as I say, and now I'm going to put down the Montmartre Dimensions Monstrial Cerulean. With, and they're all mixed just with Flow Troll, which I'll have all the colors in the description box. And I'm just going to lay the paints down just in a little row here. You can see, I hope you can see through the um, lens here just how shiny. You can see the light shining off that colour there. The beautiful, lovely glossy colours. I really should have my gloves on though because... <laughs> The pigmentation in these um, Montmartre Dimensions colours is very strong and it really stains your fingers. So, But I prefer just to um, wash my hands. So this is the Carmine. So just laying enough paint on there. Hopefully we'll get some lovely cell action going on when I swipe with the black cell activator. The next colour I'm going to use is the ultramarine blue, which is a beautiful bright, bright blue. Not probably a colour combination I normally would go for, but I just wanted to try something different. I think you've got to... Um, switch it up every now and then and do something that you wouldn't normally do. And this colour is definitely one I wouldn't normally use, Naples Yellow. So I won't put too much of that in there. And I'm going to finish off with the Montmartre Pouring Paint Gold. 
which you'll all realize now is my favorite. I'm just going to put that through there just to give everything a lovely shimmer. And so now I'm going to be putting some cell activator on the back of this little um, spatula. Just, I think people tend to cover a fair bit of it. It's a bit different to when I'm doing the drizzle swipe. So I've just put that much on there. I don't know if that's going to be enough or not. I might make it a bit thicker. This could end up a total disaster, but we'll see. So now I'm just going to swipe that through the paint, hopefully, and a bit of a pattern. Okay, well the cells are certainly coming up, particularly here at the beginning, and then they're sort of blurring away there. Right, so I'm going to hit that with the heat embossing tool just to bring up some cells and burst any bubbles. Now I've been in the habit more recently when I um, do something and I don't particularly love it, I've been just um, scrapping it. But I'm starting to not do that as much because whenever I show somebody something that I've scrapped, um, they go, why did you scrap it? You shouldn't have scrapped it. So to me, this isn't, um, I'm loving this, but I'm not really loving where those colours have blended together rather than giving me cells. But I'm not going to, I'm going to continue on. And I'm just going to use a um, bamboo skewer here. This is one of the thicker ones. And the, I'm going to use the flat end of it. And just do a little bit of wrecking through this. It won't spill all these paints which would be just like me to do that i've got my baking paper down today to catch all the mess make a bit of an easier clean up you can use all sorts of things to keep your um, workspace clean you can use the puppy pads um, i've actually got silicon mats underneath these that you can let the paint dry on and then clean it up um, so you've not got any waste um, so it's just a case really of where you stand with that. Okay, here we go. Moving off that end, this is still looking really nice. I might just try tilting that a little bit. It's looking quite paisley at the moment. I suppose that's the reds and blues together. Keep it moving, just slowly. I only want it to move very slowly. Don't want it to run down there too much. So we'll speed this bit up for you. Okay, well, I'm not thinking that that's anything very much at all. Um, 
I do like this piece here. Maybe I should just put some more cell activator on before I give up altogether. swipe back the other way through the other bit there so I'm just put it on the spatula like that and now I'm just going to swipe back this way okay it's looking a little more interesting. Cells are coming up nicely here. I'm not liking this bit here. So we'll just keep adding some color and doing a bit more swiping. And just see what we get. It's, as Jilly Cube boy says, it's only paint. And if you really hate it, you can um, always just wash it off. Start again. When some people do um, actually do that, they scrape it into a cup and then use the mixed color as a base on another one. So all is not lost. I think we need a little bit more of the... Um, Monsterial Cerulean. So that's a really pretty turquoisey bluey colour. So I'll just kind of drag that down and around, I think. Here we go. And then around like that. There. Right. Well, I'm really liking that part there now. And I'm liking this part less. Um, I still want to keep that. So I'm going to do another swipe through here. turntable do the work so I've still kept this piece in here oh now I'm getting the red coming up better which is nice okay so I will now wipe off the tool just with a piece of paper towel keep the work 
implements clean as you go. And now we'll just hit this with the um, heat embossing tool just to bring up any more cells. So that's something quite different. Love the purple going on there. So now I'll just um, do a little bit of playing with the, just put a line through that piece of the yellow there, which I didn't really love. This is looking like a bit of a face here. Eye, nose, mouth, <laughs> bit of an ear. Some sort of a mystical animal or creature. Okay, it's very interesting. Now, I'm just I'm liking most of this now. I'm just not liking this piece here. So, what will I do with that? I'm not quite sure. Might just swipe a bit more colour into there. Mm, I think I want a little bit more of this blue coming up. So I won't mix it with the other colours. Just put it there on its own. And just swipe a little bit more of the... I'll just use a small um, palette knife this time because I want to be a bit more precise there. And oh, a little tiny bit of gold, of course. I'm not actually a gold lover as far as, you know, what I wear or anything. I never wear yellow gold, but I love it in the artwork. So I'm just going to, which way? Maybe swipe it this way. So I don't want to interfere with this guy here. Except I missed half of it. That was clever. Swipe it this way. And I don't mind these little rivers where there's no swipe going through. I quite like those, like we've got here as well. Um, where there's no cell activator and where the gold's gone around there, where that bit of yellow is in through here. Um, I quite like those little, I call them rivers, going through there. Right, well that is very abstract, um, as you can see. I'm not going to do much more with that though. Um, I don't want this video to go too long while I'm just doodling. So um, we might just about leave that there. Just leave, do this a little bit here. Just want to take that over the edge of it. Yeah. Alrighty. So I might just do a little bit more embellishing off camera. Um, or I'll speed it up actually. Um, so other than that, I think that's interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so I'll put, leave it there and I'll bring you down for a close-up. Okay, so here we are coming in for the close-up, guys. I did do a small amount of um, embellishment um, between when I saw you last and coming in for the close-up. So I just did these little lines here and a few here just to... Um, just to add a little bit more interest and tidy it up a little bit. But he's ended up being quite an interesting um, little trivet. These colours will dry very glossy um, because the Dimensions paint, the Montmartre Dimensions paint, does dry glossy. And that gold has just made some beautiful, beautiful cells. 
there and that purple that make, got made from the red and the blues mixing together is just gorgeous. I didn't really mean for that to happen. And that's that yellow colour there, which it looks great um, in there too, just adds a different dimension. So I hope you've enjoyed that one today, guys. Um, if you're in lockdown at the moment, I hope you're able to be able to get on with some um, painting and just relax and uh, keep out of um, harm's way. And uh, so until we see you all again, um, happy painting. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you.